sequels are the lifeblood that keep Hollywood afloat. Because any studio that likes money, that is all of them, wants to have as many lucrative, endlessly rehashable franchises under their umbrella as possible. 2021 is set to be a huge year for sequels, with a ton of highly publicized new entries into massive franchises, such as Fast 10, The Matrix 4, John Wick 4, I could go on. But what about those below the radar follow-ups that might have sneaked past you? Many of these 20 movie sequels are already deep into production. It remains to be seen how each will turn out, of course, but it's still worth having a look at what's coming our way in the not too distant future. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 20 movie sequels you didn't know were coming in 2021. Number 20, Paranormal Activity 7. Though the door seemed well and truly closed on the Paranormal Activity franchise, after 2015's painfully desperate sixth film, The Ghost Dimension, no genre knows the power of a brand name better than horror. And so last summer, Paramount quietly confirmed that a seventh film was indeed in development. And given the tendency for tired horror franchises to simply go the lazy reboot route, it's genuinely surprising that Paramount actually referred to the film as Paranormal Activity 7, implying it to be a direct sequel to the previous six. It's likely that it will ultimately be a soft reboot in line with the upcoming new Saw film, Spiral, but given that the found footage genre has declined in popularity in recent years, it's still a surprise to see the series being resurrected quite so soon. Number 19, Jackass 4. Given that the surprisingly hilarious Jackass 3D was released an entire decade ago, most fans surely assumed that the goofball franchise had had its day, especially with the death of Jackass star Ryan Dunn the year after the film's release. But Paramount confirmed late last year that a fourth Jackass film is in the works, and though there's no word on how many of the original Jackass stars will return, Johnny Knoxville has suggested that the crew will bolster their ranks with some younger talent. Whether or not Jackass can still seem relevant remains to be seen. Scene. Number 18, Space Jam 2. It is no surprise that a Space Jam sequel has been in the works for many, many years. But you may be surprised to learn that the LeBron James starring follow-up to the iconic 1996 sports comedy quietly wrapped principal photography late last summer. Though original director Terrence Nance quit the project several weeks into shooting, he was quickly replaced by veteran filmmaker Malcolm D. Lee, and the remainder of the shoot seemingly went off without a hitch, with Warner Brothers clearly hoping that the combination of nostalgia and James's stardom will make the $100 million tentpole a summer box office success story. Number 17, Hotel Transylvania 4. Few could have anticipated that 2012's Adam Sandler starring animated comedy Hotel Transylvania would be successful enough to launch its own media empire, including a TV series, video games, and even a theme park ride. Though all three films have received mixed notices from critics, each has nevertheless grossed more than the one before it, aided by an impressively consistent A- cinema score. But as neat and tidy as a film trilogy might be, the $527 million worldwide gross of Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation ensured a fourth film would definitely be made, as was confirmed by Sony Pictures Animation last year. We can probably assume that the fourth film will be Christmas-themed, and given the low-key consistency of its predecessors, there's no reason to believe it'll be the last one either. Number 16, Don't Breathe Again. Don't Breathe is one of the most memorable and deliciously effed up horror films of the last five years, so it's genuinely surprising that it's taken this long to get a sequel off the ground. Though the sequel was quickly confirmed in late 2016, and the script was completed by late 2018, production stalled as director Fede Alvarez ventured off to other projects and it honestly seemed like Don't Breathe Again, as it's being called, would languish in development hell forevermore. But in January, it was confirmed that the film will start shooting in April, with the co-writer of both movies, Rodo Sayagas, taking on directorial duties. Producer Sam Raimi has meanwhile talked up the sequel's premise, saying it's only the greatest idea for a sequel I've ever heard, I'm not kidding. Hopefully, the end result lives up to those bold words, Sam. Number 15, Den of Thieves 2, Pantera. Few could have imagined that a film as modestly successful as the 2018 heist thriller Den of Thieves would actually end up with a sequel, though the surprisingly entertaining Gerard Butler starring romp certainly left the door wide open for a direct follow-up. 
Its $80.5 million worldwide gross against a $30 million budget didn't suggest it would be anyone's priority. But financing for the sequel was confirmed at last year's Cannes Film Festival, with both Butler and O'Shea Jackson Jr. expected to return alongside writer-director Christian Gudegast. Number 14, Murder Mystery 2. Adam Sandler's partnership with Netflix seems like a win-win situation for everyone involved. Sandler doesn't have to worry about box office receipts, audiences don't have to pay actual money to watch his movies, apart from, you know, the Netflix feed thing, which you get your friends to pay anyway, so it's fine. And Netflix gets a mega popular movie star churning out content for their streaming platform. Though most of Sandler's Netflix originals to date have been quite terrible, let's be honest. Last summer's murder mystery was, in the very least, a watchable slice of formulaic comedy, aided by the fun two-hander between Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. The film ultimately had the highest viewed opening weekend for any Netflix original to date, being watched by 73 million households in its first four weeks of release. And so a sequel was greenlit later that year, with screenwriter James Vanderbilt expected to return along with Sandler and Aniston. Number 13, Insidious 5. Though 2018's fourth Insidious film, The Last Key, was initially announced to be the final entry into the hit horror franchise, those plans changed once it unexpectedly ended up the highest grossing film in the series. Rumblings emerged almost immediately after the film's release that a fifth film was on the horizon, as was confirmed by star Lin Shea last year, which is also in line with the two to three year gestation cycle of its predecessors. Number 12, The Boss Baby 2. 2017's The Boss Baby has been a bit of a breakout animated hit. Released to mixed reviews but netting a mighty A- cinema score, a $528 million worldwide box office haul, and even an Oscar nomination for Best Animated Film, it also went on to get its own Netflix spin-off series. That's pretty good going. Mere weeks after the first film hit cinemas, DreamWorks confirmed that a sequel was in development. Word then went relatively quiet on the project for the next two years, before director Tim McGrath was confirmed to return last summer, alongside Alec Baldwin, of course. Number 11, The Passion of the Christ Resurrection. Mel Gibson's 2004 biblical epic, The Passion of the Christ, remains one of the most commercially successful rated R films of all time. But it also seemed like a totally self-contained depiction of Jesus' final hours that didn't in any way call for a sequel. And yet, in 2016, Gibson confirmed that he was developing a sequel focused on the resurrection of Jesus, with Oscar-nominated Braveheart screenwriter Randall Wallace penning the script, while Jim Caviezel is ex expected to reprise the role of Jesus. Production is reportedly set to start later this year for what Caviezel has promised will be the biggest film in history. Number 10, The Nun 2. 2018's The Conjuring spin-off The Nun may not have been particularly memorable, but it grossed an insane $365.6 million worldwide against a mere $22 million budget. So few were surprised when producer Peter Safran confirmed a sequel a few months after its release. Last Last spring, Luke Cage screenwriter Akela Cooper was hired to pen the project, while Bonnie Ahrens was confirmed to be returning as the demonic nun Valak. Number 9, Sing 2. Illumination's animated musical comedy was released over the 2016 Christmas period, and despite almost immediately disappearing from our collective consciousness, grossed an absurd $634.2 million against a modest $75 million price tag. Now that's some good going. Mere weeks after the film's release, Illumination unsurprisingly announced that a sequel was well and truly in the works. No other details are available, but you can probably expect the majority of the first film's voice cast will return alongside a handful of new ones. And knowing Illumination, it'll probably make a billion dollars no matter how it's reviewed. Number 8, The Collected. The Collected will be the third entry into a low-budget horror series which began with 2009's cult classic The Collector, which was itself originally created as a prequel to the Saw franchise before plans changed. Its modest commercial success led to a 2012 sequel, The Collection, which, with its weaker box office performance, seemed to suggest the end of the burgeoning franchise. But last year, star Josh Stewart confirmed that a third film was being prepped for production, while Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton, the writer-director team behind the prior two films, were also set to return. As easily as The Collected could have become a hopeful threequel that never came to fruition, the project recently wrapped principal photography, ensuring an early 2021 one drop is very much on the cards. Number 7, The Addams Family 2. 
as aggressively mediocre and totally forgettable as last year's animated reboot of The Addams Family was, the film grossed $200 million worldwide from a mind-bogglingly low $24 million budget, which probably explains the film's, let's say, less than stellar animation quality. Just four days after it hit cinemas, a sequel was confirmed for release on October 22nd, 2021, with directors Conrad Vernon and Greg Tiernan returning to direct, while the principal cast members are all expected to reprise their roles. Though the vast well of lore the movie could draw from leaves plenty of premise for a superior sequel, given how quickly it's clearly being assessed for release, it's probably best to keep your expectations relatively low. Number 6, Sherlock Holmes 3 Fans have been waiting long enough for a third entry into Guy Ritchie's Sherlock Holmes franchise that most had pretty much given up hope on the project ever actually coming into existence. Despite the first two movies released in 2009 and 2011 respectively, grossing more than $1 billion combined, the threequel has languished in development hell for almost a decade, amid both script concerns and, well, how freaking busy Robert Downey Jr. has been with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But now that Iron Man's time is over, Rocket Man's Dexter Fletcher is already locked in to direct, so we can probably expect some casting announcements soon ahead of a planned shooting start later this year. We won't truly believe it's happening until it's actually filming in earnest, but this is easily the furthest along the various production attempts I've ever gotten to date. Number 5, Last Friday Friday is one of the most legendary stoner films of all time. Full of iconic one-liners and headed up by a slew of unforgettable performances from Ice Cube, Chris Tucker, and John Witherspoon to name just a few. The film's runaway success led to two critically panned but highly profitable sequels in 2000 and 2002. And after a 15-year gestation period, Witherspoon announced in 2017 that a fourth film, Last Friday, was finally in the works. Cube confirmed that the script had been completed by 2019, though the project was thrown into a tailspin with Witherspoon's death late last year, after which Cube blamed New Line Cinema for not getting the sequel before camera sooner. Cube has since commented that he's busy reshaping the script to account for the absence of Witherspoon's Willie Jones. Number 4, Robocop Returns After 2014's attempted Robocop reboot tanked at the box office, MGM went back to the drawing board to try and figure out a new way to revive the property. By early 2018, it was announced that the series was going the now fashionable route of releasing a direct sequel to the original film which ignored every movie that succeeded it. Original Robocop writer Ed Numier was set to pen the script for Robocop Returns, while District 9's Neil Blomkamp was primed to direct. But by last summer, Blomkamp was off the project and replaced by Little Monsters director Abe Forsyth, though Blomkamp emphasized that this was largely due to scheduling issues. Namely, the MGM wanted to get the film shot ASAP, rather than wait for Blomkamp to finish shooting another movie. The implication then is that Robocop Returns is due to go before cameras in Number 3, Tremors Island Fury You probably most definitely remember the classic 1990 Kevin Bacon starring creature feature Tremors, and you might even remember the first few sequels, though you'd be forgiven for having no idea that the series' seventh movie, Tremors Island Fury, wrapped principal photography late last year. Since the third film, the series' focus has shifted to the fan-favorite supporting character, Burt Gummer, a surprisingly successful pivot which, thanks to Michael Gross's consistently entertaining presence, has unexpectedly allowed the series to hobble along for three decades. It's safe to assume that Tremors 7 will be on home video storefronts by which time it's entirely possible Tremors 8 will already be deep into pre-production. Number 2, Fisherman's Friends Bound for South Australia In case you missed it, Fisherman's Friends was a musical biopic based on the titular Cornish singing Fisherman, which was released in the UK in early 2019 and ended up grossing a surprisingly sturdy $11.4 million at the global box office, which was of course a by a low, low budget. A sequel was then quietly given the green light last summer, which will take the friends to Australia as they suffer through the sophomore slump with the troubled release of their second album. Uh, we've all been there. Number 1, Chicken Run 2 Chicken Run 2 is one of those oft-discussed sequels that fans have long since accepted won't ever actually get made. Though hope was restored in 2018 when Aardman Animations confirmed that the film was indeed going ahead. Paranorman's Sam Fell would direct a script penned by the original film's writers, Kerry Kirkpatrick and John O'Farrell, and though word quickly went quiet on the film's development, it was confirmed in late 2019 that Chicken Run 2 had actually started filming. Plot details remain firmly under wraps, and it's still unclear whether or not Mel Gibson will indeed return. 
and we're sure glad to see this chicken finally crossing the road once again. And that's our list. Know of any other movie sequels coming in 2021 that we may have missed? Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below. And do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and click on more articles just like the one this video was based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you soon.